Hello and welcome to our tutorial about uh, how to edit and manipulate eLearning Brothers Camtasia templates to make them fit your project and uh, make them mold into more of what you need. What I've got here is the space theme. Um, it's the, the theme that you can get from eLearning Brothers called Space. What it includes is a ton of stuff. There's a transition, a bunch of callouts, a half, an intro, a bunch of layouts, and some and a lower thirds. Um, when I put them onto my timeline by themselves, let's go ahead and just drag this layout onto my timeline right here so you can see it. There's no background video. That's because it's going to be supplementing my project. So the, the, the template has just the callouts or the layout itself, nothing of the background. So when I wanted this to be on a background, I came in here to the eLearning Brothers uh, library, came to e ELB libraries, came to stock assets library, and went to stock video. Now, uh, the space theme, when it's advertised in the uh, library, it has a purple background, so I knew that I wanted to get some purple backgrounds here. So I came into my library and I just searched for purple in the video library. And most of it is plants, but they do have some cool uh, background kind of things like this. Uh, there's some wavy stuff, and I, I just scrolled through and found stuff that I liked. And now this is what I have. So here's my intro. I'll go ahead and play it on top of the purple. And that looks pretty good. Uh, you can read this text that says main text. You couldn't originally. When you click on this background, you can see that I brought the opacity down to 50. When I brought it all the way up, uh, it's just really difficult to read main text. So I brought it down to 50%. Um, it gives it kind of a darker, rich look. Uh, but you can now read main text. Now if I double click on this, and I know that I want to title this something differently, so I'll double click until the uh, main text is highlighted, and now I can type whatever I want. Um, I do see that it's in all caps. Let's try to make sure that that's in all caps. Um, let's call this um, uh, Future of Outdoors, because that's what it's going to be themed. It does go outside of that square, so I can either shrink it to make it fit, or I can decide to uh, just go outside of those uh, constraints. I'm going to hold down control and drag it to the side. Okay, I like that. That's not bad. Let me double click on these and I am going to make them a little bit smaller. Whoa, not that small. Right of that there. And let's see what that looks like if I want to make it black. So we'll highlight those, click on this color box, we'll make it black. Okay, that's not my favorite, uh, but uh, it works for now. We can we can see what it what it looks like. You can read it much easier. Now you'll see that this video, the video runs well beyond the the intro template. Now I could shorten the length of that video, but there's let's say that there's some text that's going to go over this video, and it's going to take this full length. So I need this title slide to last the full length. If I just grab the group and drag it out, will it last? Let's see. If we play it. fades on and it just sits there and then most of the stuff exits and then it sits there super awkwardly so let's open this group we'll hit the plus sign and see what's happening here there's a lot of groups inside of this group but let's find out where all of these pieces are and what's happening this top layer uh, is my text layer okay that one's working just fine looks like it fades in and fades out no problem. This next layer, there's eight media inside of it is what it's saying. And this is all of these laser beam things that are that are getting large and then getting in the way. And you can see that their animations run out uh, right in the middle, right where the problem is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these animations and I'm going to hold down the shift key. And I'm going to select each of these animations so that they're all yellow. And now that they're all yellow, I'm just going to click and drag them over here to the end where they should be. But I do want them to animate the entire time. So you, once again, I'm going to grab these larger animations. We're going to select each one. And they have different lengths, and that's OK. Now that I've got them all selected, I am going to uh, make them longer. Now you can see that the bottom ones where there's a difference in uh, in their length, they are staying in that difference of length, which is great. I like that. We'll drag it right up to the edge. So now these are going to grow slowly, but they'll continue to move all the way until they grow and then explode off of the screen. So that fits. I can now shrink this group 
and we know that that works. Are there any other animations I need to worry about? Yep, this one has the same exact problem. Now I know uh, how to do that now. I can just select these all, move these to the end, select these all, and grow them to the end. Perfect. And then we'll check this last group, see if there's any animations in it that need to be moved. Yep, there's some animations here that happen right in the middle that should probably happen at the end. So I'll drag those down to the end as well. Now I can highlight that all, click group, and then just to be safe, put that transition back on it, the fade transition. If I put it right in the middle, then it uh, puts the transition on the beginning and the end. Now let's play through that. I'll make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So it animates on, and everything keeps moving. Everything animates all together, all throughout this title, and then they all animate off together at the very end. That looks great. So that's how you would make it longer. Just dra dragging the group to be longer doesn't always fix your problem. You have to come, come into the groups and move them all together. However, they are organized, so it should be easy to find uh, what you want to change. Next, I have this uh, video footage of my friend Taylor giving us a description about, uh, let's see, what was the title? The Future of Outdoors. So he's talking about some act outdoor activities. And we're going to have a half uh, title come on to, um, to support what he's saying. So I'll take the half. I've already drug it on here. And when the half plays, the half is on the left side. Look right here. You can barely see it. It's being covered by him. And I've got my... Uh, my design here. Now I could flip Taylor's video and flip everything, but I really want that text to come up on the right. Um, because what Taylor talks about is left and right uh, specific things, and if he says you use the left hand and then he holds up his right hand, it's going to be weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mirror uh, the, the entire group. Right here, you're going to use rotation and the Y axis and do 180 degrees. So now that's flipped and I can drag it. Oops, wrong one. I can drag this over to the right side now. And there we go. So now it's on the right side. It looks how it's supposed to be, except that my half title text is now backwards. So I'm going to double click until I get to that text box. And it's right here. It says text Leto uh, regular. Come into the video properties. And I'm going to flip it as well, 180. And so now half title shows up correctly. So when we play this video, that stuff animates out from the right side plays the half title and then anim animates out to the right again. Once again we have the same problem where it is not showing uh, the it's not showing during the duration of his conversation. So I'm going to have it come over here. I'm going to drag the group out as long as I want it to be. Which is going to be about right there. And then I'm going to just hit the plus to look at what's inside that group. You can see some of these animations definitely end in the middle. So I'll select these animations and drag them all the way to the end. See how that looks. Okay, it looks like stuff stops moving and the text goes away. You can see our text ended early, so I'm gonna select those both and make them longer, come to about right there. And then I'm seeing some other groups in here. Let's open up the groups. And once again, we have the same thing that we had with the intro. So I can select these three move them to the end, select these three, make them long so that they'll animate during the duration. Let's try this other group. Same thing, select them all, drag them to the end, select these ones, everything that's inside of the group. Uh, this one is not part of the group. Make it longer all the way to the end. Okay, now let's play through it and see what it looks like. They animate in, and they animate more slowly, but everything continues to move the entire time. Um, let's make this uh, title say, Key to Outdoors. Okay, it's a little high, so I'm gonna double click on it until it gives me my text box, and then I'll just arrow key it down into where I want it to be. Perfect, so now that animates on, it animates off, and it's all on the correct side. It's on the right side. This next section is a layout. So I need to edit this layout uh, so that it's longer, again. 
Um, there's a text here. It's lorem ipsum, but it's definitely longer than it takes me to read. And I need something over on this side that's going to supplement my text, or maybe my text is supplementing what's over here. It can be an image or it can be a video because it's with Camtasia. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to make it longer. Um, come on here to both sides. So what's going to happen is this is going to fade. The half is going to grow all the way across and then fade into another uh, one of these sideways purple chevron things. And then this is going to animate on. And then it runs out. So let's open this. You can see where these need to go. We'll drag these to the end. Select this, drag it to the end. Select the text, drag it to the end. And there's another group here. We'll open it and drag those two to the end as well. All right, so now everything should at least run the duration, even if it still doesn't say what I need it to say. Animates on. Looks great. Definitely runs the full duration. Um, this text is going to be, we're going to title this Step 1. And I'm not going to change this lorem ipsum from right now. We'll just let it sit there. This image, though, I don't want it to be this image. So when I double clicked on it, you can see it brought up this, uh, this section. You can see what layer is that. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to drag in a new video. I want it to be, I will use this one, this one of Taylor talking. It's a little long. I'm going to split it and then drag this into that group into the empty space down here. Okay. Now, I did like it in that smaller restrained area. So I'm going to hit this crop button and I'm going to crop the image of Taylor down, the video of Taylor, down until it fits inside that space uh, where the plant image was, right about there. Now to make it really pop out and feel separate, um, I'm going to click the visual effects and border and I'm drag that onto Taylor's image here. And I'm going to grow the thickness of that border to, to its max, to a 10. So that nice, that separates it pretty good. When you push play, um, his video is right there. He talks so nice and comfortable and it's featured. It needs to animate on and off, however. So we, we know how it did before. We, we, I noted that, so we'll drag it off screen here, come into animations, put down a custom animation, and then place it where it's supposed to be at this point, which is here. And then I'm just going to hit restore here at the end so that it animates off with the others in the same exact direction. So now when I play it, it animates on with the rest of the template. It's uh, loading a little bit here. It plays. Step one comes in. All of this now runs the full duration that it needs to run. And then it animates off the screen. So that's great. One other thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, the transition template here. Uh, this bubble transition, I want it to bubble up from the purple and then bubble over to Taylor. Now when I just drug it on and put it right on the middle, um, it did not work correctly. So I have to look at this transition a little closer. I'm going to ungroup it and I see that the point of whiteout is right here towards the end. All of these animations come together but, but the point of whiteout is here at the end. So that being said, I'm going to shorten this purple one quite a bit because I don't need it to sit there for very long. Put Taylor's new footage here. And now I'm going to drag it to where I think that white section is. In fact, I know the white section is right there. I missed it just a little bit. So I'm going to push it forward. And now that white is going to pop right in the in-between. So now when I play this transition, those bubbles come up. And then it pops to the white and then switches. Now those bubbles are get popping up and getting in the way of my purple. Now I don't want to have to sit on the blank purple for too long just to watch the transition. So I want this transition to happen faster. If I just shorten this group like this, then when we get here, um, it's just popping those bubbles. They're just suddenly there because all we did was crop it. So I'm going to control Z out of that. We're going to open up this group. And once again, I'm going to select all of these long animations that make those bubbles do what those bubbles do. So we'll select them all. 
Now that they're all selected, I'm going to just grab this handle here at the beginning and I'm going to shrink it. And they all shrink together. They stay where they're supposed to be relative to one another. We'll shorten it to about there. You can see that this is the point everything's starting to animate off and these bubbles are now just starting to come up. That works just great. So now I'm going to put my timeline here so I know where the bubbles start to animate in. Come back out of the group and then drag that group length down to where my, my uh, scrub bar is. Now when I push play, those animate out, the bubbles pop up really quick, and it flashes over to see Taylor over uh, on this side. That's how you make that transition shorter. So hopefully that has helped you uh, with knowing how to manipulate these templates to meet your needs. It really wasn't that long. It was easy to jump in and edit those to be longer or shorter, uh, to replace them with my footage, my images, and to find out how to supplement them with with stock assets. Let me know if you have any other questions. Let me know if you've ever used the space theme. I'd like to know some people that have worked on the space theme and we might be able to feature some of your content. So uh, go ahead and send that information to me and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.